Kia ora and welcome to this News Hub special on the Christchurch fire emergency. More than 100 firefighters are attacking the blazes in the Port Hills area. So far, 11 houses are confirmed destroyed. Hundreds of residents have fled their homes and face an anxious wait to see if their properties will survive. The fires began on Monday night and so far nearly 2,000 hectares have been scorched. Officials say the blazes have been contained rather than controlled. OK, so let's go now live to Christchurch for the very latest. News Hub reporter Jacob Brown is with us from the Cashmere Hills. That's very near the fire cordon. Jacob, what's the latest? Jacob, thank you so much. And of course, we'll be speaking to Jacob uh, later on at six o'clock uh, in our regular bulletin. Now, before we go, we have some advice for people that are in or near the areas that are affected by the fires. If you feel unsafe, then evacuate early. You don't need to be told, just go. Evacuation centres have been set up at Te Hapua Hallswell Centre, the Selwyn Events Centre and Nga Hauewha Marae. Emergency services are urging people to stay away from the areas affected by the fire so they can have easy access to the site. If you're able to offer accommodation and other support for evacuated residents, please call 03347 2740. That's 03347 2740. And for regular updates, go to the Christchurch Civil Defence Facebook page. Well, that is it from us for now for this News Hub special on the Christchurch fires. We'll be back at six with the very latest from our team of reporters right across the fire zone. In the meantime, there's more online at newshub.co.nz. I'm Mike McRoberts. And I'm Samantha Hayes. Good afternoon.